In the middle of this Labor Day weekend, undoubtedly thousands of people are enjoying the lakes in northeast Indiana and northwest Ohio. But for one man, he is working to preserve the history of Lake Pleasant. News Channel 15's Kaitor Pessoa tonight with why the effort is so important for a man and his Steuben County community. Elton Power says Pleasant Lake is symbolic of a lot of small towns in northeast Indiana, all of which have rich histories that deserve to be preserved forever. I was born and raised in Pleasant Lake. Not a lot of people say they were born here, but I was. Elton Powers is Pleasant Lake through and through. He literally grew up in the house across the street from his elementary school. My family goes back here several generations, and I've heard all the stories about what Pleasant Lake once was, and I wanted to preserve that for people who were still interested in it. Powers is proposing a small museum to preserve the memories of the small lake town, which was once much more vibrant than it is now. This place is not going to be what it once was. We're not going to bring it back to life. But I want the people who live here now, who do remember it, and their descendants to, to look at it and say, oh, look at what this place used to be. In the 1800s, four passenger trains used to stop in Pleasant Lake a day. This depot is on the National Register of Historic Places. Today, the grocery stores, department store, doctor's office, and barber shop are all gone. But the Museum Powers is planning to create will have old newspaper articles, pictures, diaries, and other memorabilia to showcase the town's history. Powers is thinking it'll go inside this former doctor's office on Main Street. It's an interesting little town. It, it, the story of Pleasant Lake is probably the story of a lot of little small towns that have faded away over time. And perhaps this will encourage them to try to preserve their memories as well. Little towns all over northeast Indiana, that would be nice. Powers will be holding a public meeting about the museum this Wednesday at 7 p.m. at the Steuben Township Fire Department. Kaitor Pessoa, News Channel 15.